So once again very good day to everybody. This is TWL Transport Warehouse Logistics. Actually in the last class we actually discussed about the right equipment for handling uh, the consignment, uh, the loading operators that we were actually discussing. I hope you went through uh, the PowerPoint. Okay, I'll be within this week I'll be sharing you the materials, everything. As I told you, it is almost confirmed. So I'll be sharing you all the materials and the assignments as well. And in today's class, we'll discuss about safety and security procedures in WH warehouses. Okay. And of course, future trends. You should, when, whenever you are uh, talking about warehousing, you shouldn't talk only about the present scenario. You have to think about future. Okay. And uh, especially this is for you, my dear students and young researchers, and you can reach me at dr.kristranan at the rate of gmail.com. So before beginning the session, once again, let me thank God for giving me this opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national, international participants, students and young researchers. So in today's class, we will discuss about the safety measures in warehousing, okay, the forklifts, the importance of using forklifts, then the docks, yes, D, yes, it's very, very important, like uh, you, sh you should have a data sheet that is concerned with your safety, that is concerned with your security as well, okay, so whatever software or hardware that you try to maintain, you should have Yes, yes. Okay. Then we have several security systems, fencing, supply chain procedures, challenges. Okay. And then consumer behavior, logistics marketplace. Okay. On demand warehousing. Then we discuss about the advances in tracking and visibility because whenever the consignment passes, you have to track them. Okay. And it should be, uh, even though the processes are complex, also you should be track and you should. We get the details, the information associated with this. And then we also go with the mobile app tracking also. And finally, we are going to end with the uh, future uh, trends in warehousing, which is nothing but autonomous systems. Okay. So maybe we will understand a system that we will go through. So I will be also giving you assignment 2 as well. So please go through them and you have to submit them in the Google Classroom. And at regular intervals, I'll be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in our topics. Okay. Right. So, whenever you say safety, you should remember one uh, word. Okay. That is with regards to government, it is OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Okay. So, they have defined the warehouse industry, okay, as the, uh, the, the occurrence, the, the, the negative consequences that happen is nothing but the fatal injury rate for this warehouse industry is higher than the national average for all the industries. So, if anywhere and everywhere if you are not following the safety protocols or maybe procedures, then you are subjected to injury rate. So, that is much more greater than the national procedures that we are following. Okay. So, which means that if the average rate is higher means then which means potential hazards which occur is also higher. Okay. So maybe like uh, um, if you are not properly using the forklift or maybe if you are not properly stacking okay or maybe fire safety provision is not properly provided means then definitely these hazards occupational hazards uh, potential hazards can happen okay. So irrespective of the nature of the business these uh, warehouses will try to present will try to produce different kinds of hazards and we have danger zones also where we will have um, uh, uh, much care in handling these types of uh, equipments and you have to take as much precaution as possible in order to prevent these injuries okay. right so these are nothing but the forklifts okay right uh, maybe the operators should be well trained even well certified even uh, in order to go for periodic checking and then evaluation so according to the OSHA okay OSHA okay Forklift accidents account for 95,000 injuries across all industries every year. So, it's very, very important like forklifts you have to handle with care. Otherwise, it will lead you in a greater hazard. Okay. And uh, most thing is that uh, uh, we, we try to be trained even then, even though trained professionals also try to uh, uh, try to commit mistakes even. Okay. So, uh, with regards to warehouses, there are more uh, safety uh, risks even, okay. Employees are getting hurt, um, 
there is uh, like a too much pressure to complete the work on time so maybe at that time these hazards can have happen okay and uh, more than the deaths injuries happen a lot okay so that is the thing we'll have here yeah. so it's very very important that uh, the forklift operators should be well trained should be well certified also they shouldn't exceed the 5 miles per hour 5 mph that speed they should not uh, exceed and also they should pro have or maybe maintain the proper haulage equipment as well okay so these are all about the forklift okay next we have docks so similarly like a forklift the safety procedures protocols precautions has to be followed okay so along the items where, where we have the docks we have the workers who are working with okay so most problem is that the forklifts which run off the dock will definitely injure or will try to uh, create a problem uh, for the driver uh, as well and of course those who are nearby and those equipments those machines devices which are nearby it will cause a problem okay so employees should drive slowly whenever you are fitting into the dock okay so dock jumping should be provided when um, using these ladders or maybe stairs so um, you should be more extra careful very very cautious okay because you are dealing with equipments you are dealing with devices you are dealing with safety and uh, uh, your carelessness should not affect the uh, well-being the health of the well-trained certified professions okay so there are some safety measures in warehousing like we'll have material storage even so for example the items if you are not storing correctly means definitely it might fall or maybe it can in injure okay anyone who are inside the warehouse okay so you have to position correctly stack it uh, correctly okay place the heavier loads in lower distances not at higher distances if they fall what will happen okay so that precautions that you should handle okay and then whenever you are going for manual lifting or maybe handling use the right equipment okay most important is the well-being of the employees yes of course you have to finish the work on time but if the uh, well-trained professionals have back injury what will happen they will ultimately take leave so maybe well-trained professionals if more are absent which means that the operations will not continue as desired okay so proper lifting uh, techniques or maybe equipments should be there so that these hazards can not happen or maybe prevent to happen then of course we should have a checklist even so that is charging stations so maybe in order to prevent fire okay like natural uh, artificial hazards even explosions or maybe fire related injuries so asha has provided some uh, tips even some checklist even from banning smoking and open flames even so that in the danger zones potential danger zones you should avoid okay so maybe uh, for adequate of uh, uh, fire extinguishers should be there uh, forklifts should be positioned in the relevant places not like uh, position them in unwanted places okay so that's very very important and you have to charge them okay and then chemicals with regards to warehouse like uh, we should handle chemicals um, like uh, it should be uh, like local stations should be there it, it should be placed or maybe ordered in state and maybe some regulators should be there at all uh, positions and uh, whenever you are uh, dealing with chemicals you are you are having both hazardous as well as non hazardous okay corrosive and then non corrosive chemicals also so whenever you are handling chemicals like this you should have uh, proper equipments or maybe safety precautions as well when handling chemicals okay so this is what we were talking it's very very important yes ds safety data sheet okay so it's a, actually a document basically a document which has relevant information about the chemicals that you are handling in the warehouse process what are the effects what are the impacts what are the hazards it will create where it has to be stored how it should be handled what are the first eight measures what are the firefighting precautions that you can have what are the chemicals which have more uh, toxic toxicity or which are the toxic chemicals how you can openly or transparently expose to these chemicals or maybe hazards so everything is given in the documentation i rather request you 
to go through the safety data sheet before taking up any assignment okay so you have to provide the employees uh, an open transparent access to the sds safety data sheets especially when you are dealing with chemical warehouses okay so managers also try, try to educate the workers whatever training they have they will try to educate the employees so whenever you are educating the employees you have to first of all train them with the safety measures security measures because anytime and every time even the trained workers also are subjected to hazards and you have to educate them okay so robust reliable training should be then to conduct the duties so that should be safety checklist operators also okay whenever you are dealing with uh, chemical warehouses so you have to properly label the chemical containers that is very very important the labeling is very very important and you have to maintain the list okay about the hazardous chemicals and the documentation to uh, give the exercises okay and uh, you have to have a protective gear as well okay to handle them and uh, there should be an on site response team as well to um, uh, to respond to the queries for example if they have any doubts any clarification they should be able to have a safety help uh, desk even okay so with regards to chemical related issues they should be giving the help or maybe the support okay right security is very very important okay warehouse security is very important um, we are not dealing like uh, 10000 100000 items but maybe even for 100 items also there should be some security okay because people employees are very very important they are the asset of the warehouses okay so customers even they are trusting that the cargo is in the good hands not like <laughs> you have salary problem or maybe there is uh, less uh, uh, people in the inventory so you you are trying to finish the works first okay and you are trying to deliver not like that customers are trying to believe the the management customers are trying to believe the people who are uh, working in the warehouses okay so maybe it is for a long time even for express delivery also they are trying to believe okay so for example if there is any type of security failure then definitely the organization the reputation of the organization the reputation of the management gets spoiled okay and definitely significant losses are there okay so as i told you we should have a state of art security system that uh, will have like alarms that will have cctv cameras okay to monitor what is actually going on what the validation process are going on okay so we have it at all access points in the uh, security warehouses and they are going to monitor every now and then okay so security system is very very important warehouse operators should be able to view hd footage high definition footage not like a blurred version or maybe your uh, uh, cctv camera can store only some mb of data not like that it should be continuous it should have more uh, space and storage even okay and you should handle them carefully and for this one you should have a cloud storage okay just like uh, uh, the storage that you have in the sh shops also we will have in the warehouses and it should be 24 cross 7 monitoring okay. then we'll have fencing also so that's also a form of protection it is uh, okay everything what we carry over are nothing for protection it's an extra layer of protection or maybe security okay so fences has to be inspected even though uh, when uh, the structure is also well layered also it has to be uh, monitored so the employees should should be knowing okay what are the surroundings are there okay how much protection they are offering everything uh, they should know about this one okay and at periodic levels at continuous levels uh, you should uh, perform background checks even especially for the new employees because new employees are quite new to the uh, market or maybe the business so all back checking should be there and you can never be too safe all the time this is not only for the new employees but also for the trained employees right so warehouse you can call it to be a technology and it is con con continuously evolving it is continuously updating it is continuously upgrading you can never say you can have the same technology for five years for 10 years not like that you have to update you have to upgrade okay so it's very safe to say that workplaces are in the process of change all the time okay 
so whenever you say evolving you have to measure the efficiency you have to scale it you have to measure it only then you have to provide the right services to the customers as i told you in the last class customers have their own preferences their preferences are changed even your preferences have changed like 10 years before you are not like you okay you are expecting very less now you are expecting more similarly technology is even similarly warehouses also okay so warehouse industry you you should have a critical component that is going to drive your entire supply chain and of course modern advanced technologies should be there uh, in the critical times even so these are the supply chain challenges which are actually driving the change okay so automation should be there okay widespread supply chain automation should be there robotic technologies should be there drones should be there like for example you take in the case of amazon why amazon is popular why amazon is popular almost all is linked with amazon yes of course but they are also updating to the current trend when there are drones they are able to deliver through drones when the people ask express delivery they are going to ask for express delivery when the shops in the nearby region are going to give you uh, discounts kelishamas here also they give kelishamas okay all discounts 50 percentage off 20 percentage off 10 percentage off everything they are giving zero delivery charge also they are giving two items three items combined also they are giving okay amazon gift cards they are giving so running according to the pace running according to the challenges and this is what makes them famous okay so you should have retail footprints as well whenever when the customers are purchasing online stuff okay so maybe for warehouse uh, which means that larger storage burden will definitely compensate for the brick and mortar shopping to e-commerce as well okay so uh, which means that there should be proper uh, uh, manpower to handle this stuff okay so there should be increased staffing need as well so whenever like labor markets are flexible which means that the manpower is also compensated to handle this stuff okay and uh, during the peak periods for example if the uh, demand supply and demand is too much which means that warehouse can experience three to five times more volume spikes than the previous one okay so that is all dependent on the efficient manpower that you use for handling uh, the equipments the right equipments and of course investing in the equipments in the supply and demand process and finally the delivery and performance okay so most warehouses will have traditional hardware or maybe software solutions but still we have to upgrade to the new technologies it's very very important so maybe if you are having like a traditional or maybe manual warehouses means like a, it will be very slow it will be not very very efficient with respect to workflows and uh, for this one we should have uh, a capex investment with the case of uh, new uh, or maybe advanced technology so that definitely will have a good maintenance of the infrastructure and the layout that you are trying to